All right, salute. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you're new, and let's talk about it. It is phone talk, mock mock right now. Phone talk is raining. Like, it is raining cats and dogs. It just started from uh, absolutely nowhere. But with that being said, we're still going to get through this video and talk about this. I'm going to tell you something, folks. You do not play around here in Thailand when it comes to drugs. Drugs. I'm talking about hard drugs. Thailand is one of the strictest countries when it comes to hard drugs. And why I'm talking about this topic is because the depth, the, 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 like the, the, the fine line between, you know, personal consumption and distribution is like it, the bar is so, it's so down there. Like, it, I mean, you can get caught with a small amount and you will be made an example of. They do not play when it comes to hard drugs here. They do not play. The, the, the sentences are serious, not to mention the public shame and embarrassment that comes with this. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a um, we're going to do an article. I'm going to read through a Daily Mail article, if you will, um, fair use, if you will, to all of these videos. I'm going to you know run a few different things and show you this is why you don't F around and find out. Don't don't like don't mess around with like, you know, you know, a little too you know, a little, you know, Nam Kang or whatever. I don't even want to say the names. I don't want to get flagged on this video, but man, hard drugs, like this is an absolute no-no in Thailand. Like even a small amount can land you in prison for 20 years plus or even worse. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. Right here, we're looking at a Daily Mail article and this, this came out and like I said, there are multiple articles, but if you look this up, uh, British man pays, like faces possible death penalty after being accused of selling cocaine and ecstasy to tourists in Thailand. We're talking about a fillet, you know. That's a big no-no. Uh, a boss, or excuse me, a Briton living in Thailand on a student visa is facing death penalty after having been arrested on suspicion of selling cocaine, ecstasy, local media reports. According to blah, 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 this was used in Telegram to deal narcotics. Like, how dumb can you be? When police in Chiang Mai received the tip-off, which this is in my district. Like, I live in Chiang Mai, northern Thailand. So we don't hear about these stories up here. This is mainly, normally in Pattaya, you know, or Phuket or Bangkok. So with that being said, uh, they uh, undercover police officer, it was reported, arranged to meet him in a cannabis shop. And in a shop, which is normal, seeking to buy... Mm -hmm. Blank, 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 and blank with a street value of 2,400 pounds, which let's just say 2,800 US dollars or damn near uh, probably about 60,000 baht. That's a lot of money. So he was buying a big amount of blank, 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 and blank. Once he received the cash, they stormed the room and arrested him. And this is where it gets deep. Look at this. Man, every time they catch your ass, they make an example of you. Like, I can't tell you how endless the stories are. When someone gets busted, they're like, it's like a Photoshop. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's like, a, or, you know, it's like you have all these people standing behind and the dude's like pointing. That's my stuff. You know what I mean? Or sometimes he's even holding like what he get, got busted with. Like, they make an example of your ass. This is what I'm saying. It's be, beyond the public humiliation. You are made an example of publicly, like literally. They will do a photo shoot for three days, of, you know, angle like checking different angles and making sure the stacks of cash that they busted you with look big enough and all that. Like this is crazy. But look at this. This dude was arrested, you know, and this is him in handcuffs pointing at what he got busted with, his scales and his money with a box next to him, which we'll get to that. This is what they pulled out of the box. Uh, so basically a bunch of bags of mushrooms and I'm, I'm assuming some, some, uh, some two and some, um, I don't know, you know, MDMA stuff is what, what I'm gathering from this. But I mean, you can see this, like they, they make sure to make a spectacle of it. So basically 13 grams of LSD, dude, that's a lot. 13 grams of LSD, because LSD is minuscule. 9.8, near near 10 grams of uh, MDMA or ecstasy. Um, 
He was paraded in front of the drug hall for photographs before he was questioned. <laughs> of course, I just went over that. Uh, Major General, I can't pronounce the name, commander of the Chiang Mai Provincial Police, uh, said Garcia admitted selling, which he claimed to have bought from another tourist for 17,500 uh, pounds. We're talking 20,000 US dollars. That's a lot of money. He also alleged to have told police that he paid almost 50 pence for a gram of magic mushrooms. Man, this dude was spilling the beans and singing like a canary, bro. Uh, they claim, he claimed it was his first time selling narcotics. I highly doubt that. But we didn't believe him because our investigation reveals he has a history of selling narcotics. Obviously, like no one just, oh, I just started and I, I have a box of all this stuff. Like, get out of here. They're not stupid. He had entered Thailand on a student visa. We believe it was a ruse to allow him to stay in the country selling drugs. So you can see the narrative they're putting on this. And maybe this is true, and I'm not saying there aren't elements that may or may, may not be true. you got to understand this. The spin is not up to, 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 to the man who's under arrest. It, the spin, if you get busted doing something, the spin is not on you. You have no, uh, you have no control over how they spin the narrative. Um, but I'm going to go into the drug laws and how strict they are. We're investigating it further as he was uncooperative. I thought he just told, and he refused to provide the uh, password for his phone. Look at this, but look, man, they're going to they're gonna make their, <laughs> you, you can see them all standing around with all the stuff on the table. We intend to examine the Telegram uh, application to un un uncover his network and take action against him, his suppliers, and his customers. Ty, I'm going to skip up. Thai law allows execution of convicted drug dealers or life imprisonment. And man, I'm going to tell you something. They do not play about this stuff. Man, if you get caught selling drugs, especially, this is, it's game over here. It is game over. Um, but you have to understand how that's defined here. It's a very small, like the bar is so like hard to climb under. Like, honestly, you, you can be accused under Thai law if you have two Yava pills, which do, do not do this stuff. Yava is, uh, it's, it's a, it's a meth, methamphetamine narcotic pill. I've never seen these uh, personally, but I've heard the stories. I've seen it on the news. Um, Yaba is a, like a methamphetamine pill. It's a very cheap pill, but they're flooding in from Northern, uh, like up in Myanmar and stuff like that. This is like, like Myanmar is basically like the, um, Mexico to the United States when it comes to where most of the drugs are coming from. So I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to bash or throw shade, but for real, you can have two pills and be charged with distribution. So keep this in mind. A simple case of possession without any intent to supply can lead to a 10 year jail term. And, and I'm going to tell you, like when they talk about up to here, oh, it's up to like it, it ain't like this, this candy coated handle with kitty gloves and like let's hear his sob story or her sob story man i'm gonna tell you right now man drug offenses are treated like no joke here i'm telling you local media said he he is the third british tourist arrested for allegedly drug dealing in the recent weeks he's now fe uh, facing lengthy spells in the country's notorious prisons no shit about that no one wants to go to prison here Backpacker and new father, Andrew Brett, 36, was detained for reportedly distributing cocaine. Remember, distributing cocaine and LSD on Kotal. Like, why go to Kotal? Everyone that lives here knows what Kotal is. Don't go to Kotal. On February 29th, he may face life imprisonment or the death penalty based on the Thailand's Narcotics Act. They didn't even mention how much. While another British man, Peter Hull, 44, was arrested in his home on Koh Samui, uh, March 1st, alarmed neighbors said his strange and violent behavior led them to call the police. A raid of his room. Remember, they call the police. The police just come in. Remember this, folks. You, there, there, there's no, where's your warrant? It, 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 there ain't no warrant right here. <laughs> A raid of his room allegedly found, allegedly, that's funny how they use some of the words, allegedly found cocaine and ecstasy. They have warned that he could face a severe prison sentence or deportation, which I agree. They come amidst a wider crackdown on foreigners behaving badly in the Southeast uh, Asian country that was sparked earlier this month by the arrest of the Swiss businessman who's for, for kicking a Thai doctor, which I did a video on that. But I, I'm going to go ahead and, and just like, that's pretty much the end of the article. But guys, like when you mess around here and you find out, like here's another story. 
major drug dealer has been killed by the Thai police in a raid, and he was found with over 200 methamphetamine pills on his body. A notorious drug dealer yesterday met a violent end at his abode in the Mai Tha district of Lampun province. Police closed in on the house, hoping to execute an arrest warrant, only to encounter gunfire from the suspect, who tried to make a daring escape. At approximately 4.30 p.m., Police Lieutenant Colonel Sampran, chief of Takat Police Station, received a performance report of a mission gone south. While carrying out a drug-related arrest warrant, law enforcement officers encountered a jeopardizing situation when the drug dealer drew a weapon and opened fire at them. The dramatic showdown occurred near a residential area in the Mai Tha subdistrict. A 55-year-old man was found dead with a bag sling strap around his neck. His body bore signs of multiple gunshot wounds triggered by the officer's retaliatory action. Next to his right hand lay a magazine-equipped gun, believed to be his weapon of contention in the fight. In his bag, officers discovered 233 methamphetamine pills. Man, they don't play about this stuff. Man, they do not play. I'm telling you, you have a lot of uh, rampant corruption as well within, but you have a lot of people fighting back against this too. You have a lot of great uh, people working to try to really eradicate, you know, the problem here. And they're unfortunately, you know, I'm going on rumors. Like, you know, I've been here, I've lived here, I've seen a few uh, uh, instances where I can like say that, you know, I've seen the face of some of the side effects of. Uh, the narcotics that come through here, I guess you could say I've never seen or been around anyone that does these narcotics. And to, to be honest, I won't I, I, like if, if you pull out something, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm not I'm not ever going to talk to your ass again. I don't want anything to do with it. If I ever get questioned, I don't talk to this person. I don't have any. I'm not going to snitch, but I ain't I, I, I don't want it. I'm not going to F around and find out what happens when it comes to this, because I'm going to tell you something. They do not play about uh, drugs here. You know, category one substances, like looking here, um, up to life imprisonment and a fine of one million to five million baht for production. With about $35,000, uh, about $35,000, I think. I want to like stick to that. I'll put the numbers up. Up to five million baht for production, importation or exportation, unless it's for disposal, which in which case the penalty is death. You get the death penalty. Up to life imprisonment and a fine of 100,000 to 5 million baht or the death penalty, depending on the amount of substance found or disposable. And people will say, well, there's a lot of discretion. You know, but if they catch you with a little bit, that's not the case. That's not, that's not how it works here. That's not saying that, man, you might, you might get away with it, but man, maybe you just rubbed somebody the wrong way. You got caught in the wrong district. Maybe they've been watching you and they know. Maybe they don't have the evidence, but I'm going to tell you something. Man, you F around with this stuff and you find out. In South Patia early this morning, June 15, 2023, I'm Adam Judd. Thank you for tuning in to TPN News. Now, as for our story, Patia police raided, or inspected as they like to say, the Garden 168, which is an extremely popular nightclub bar located in South Patia. Now, upon arrival at the venue around 1 o'clock a.m., they asked everybody present to take a drug test, which is legal in Thailand, and according to police, three of the club goers tested positive for illegal drugs, although police did not clarify exactly what illegal drug they tested positive for. There's commonly raids that can come in sometimes. And I've never, like, I've seen the police come in and check permits on the bars. But I've heard and seen videos and talked to people in other cities where there's, like, immigration raids or just people, like, drug trick like drug check raids like where they can literally just walk in and say hey i'm gonna check your bags and check whatever and if they really suspect you they can like drug test your ass make you pee in a cup and you've gotten you, you can't say well i want my lawyer it don't work that way if you pee dirty in that cup it's over i'm not saying they're gonna put you or give you the death penalty for a little bit of you know something in your pee i don't know but i wouldn't risk it and as i said that it's a very loose definition when it comes to exportation, importation, or distribution. If they catch you with enough, they can charge you and make an example of you. Like, they caught this British passport. I talked about this British guy, like, I think it was from the UK. He came and flew into Phuket. He handed them his passport, or the immigration, when he got to Phuket, he handed them their, his passport. They opened it, and he had, a, like, a half a gram of cocaine, like, which I'm not condoning. <laughs> This was the biggest bonehead move. I, I was like, I didn't know whether to laugh or feel sorry for this dude. 
But man, they made an example, man. I mean, they put pictures like he's over there, like this is my, like you know, he's got to do the whole act in front of the camera, like where they're all standing around, like look at what we found, and he's sitting there like a sucker, like a chump, pointing. That's my stuff. I don't know what happened to this guy. I tried to look it up, but I'm not sure. Um, even though it's a very small amount, we're talking about less than half a gram of, of cocaine. But we're, you know, they don't play about this. Importation, exportation, substances found to include morphine, opium, or cocaine. The penalty is increased to imprisonment of 20 years to life. Like a lot of people that get caught with a, you know, what we would consider like a smaller amount or, you know, a negligible, not just negligible. You could be given 20 years. I'm, I'm guessing that Schedule 1 is a hell no. Schedule 5 is kind of a, you know, same as U.S. But, you know, you can see it even on the bottom, like cannabis, mushrooms, craton. But Category 5 is not technically prosecuted. But Category 1 or Category 2, man, it's over. It's a wrap, man. If they catch your ass, even, oh, I'm going to buy a week supply or whatever you're doing, stupid stuff, man, you don't even know. Some of the people that sell it to you could be working for the authorities that will bust your ass. And they're taking a cut, taking you to cleaners, and they're getting a product back to sell it to the next sucker. So don't mess around with this, man. Do not come to Thailand. Do not come to Thailand and do drugs, hard drugs.